Well, joining us now is uh, Pat. Pat, welcome back. It's great having you back on the program. It's a pleasure to be here, Wayne. Thank you. And I think today you've got something very exciting for us, a new feature that you've got there in the property press. We have, Wayne. Um, what we've noticed in recent times has been some wonderful new residential developments going on mm -hmm. around the place. Um, not just in Auckland, we won't make this Auckland-centric, <laughs> but around the country. Wider than just Auckland. Yeah, but okay. in particular in Auckland in this example today. So we thought once a month we would have a development feature so that the, okay. the readers can have a look at some of the beautiful new residential apartment blocks and residential living options that are open to them. So once a month we will run this and uh, you see most of this is, is Auckland but yep. uh, here we are, here's a Queenstown okay. development that looks really, really beautiful and uh, so the price is there. So it's just, it's aspirational uh, for people looking to uh, downsize or move from a, a standalone home into a, an apartment living style. And, and these are spread out uh, across Auckland, they're not just in the centre of town also? No, no, the apartments themselves or the developments themselves are Epsom, um, yep. this would be Grey Lynn, uh, there's, there's, there's some of them are central Auckland but others are around the general area. Beauti beautiful marketing, you know, that, that's just superior, that's absolutely stunning. Uh, now, great marketing is one thing, but uh, the, the demand for this product, for these apartments, what's, what's your pick on that, Pat? Let me show you. Our recent research that we've been uh, relying on in the last couple of episodes, um, the definite buying and selling intentions across New Zealand gives us um, a, a clear picture of the su supply and demand uh, status. Sure. <clears throat> yep. So you'll see nationally there is a wide gap uh, wow. between people who are saying, or research respondents who are saying, I'm definitely looking to buy, and yep. that versus those I'm definitely looking to sell. So there is a very wide gap, and when we look at Auckland, wow, look at there's, a very, there's a widening gap. Yep. Um, back in 2012, 2013, nationally, we had about equilibrium across okay. New Zealand, yep. but Auckland is just stretching out further yep. and further. Uh, looking at Wellington, we see that there's an, uh, the, the lines on the graph run roughly parallel the trend lines, but there's a mm -hmm. widening gap now between I am definitely looking to buy and definitely looking to sell. Uh, similarly, Christchurch is a little different picture here where in 2012. You'd understand that, wouldn't you? Yes. That, that one's going to be different. There was The supply and demand was almost equal there now. Um, the, all of a sudden, the, the definitely looking to buy spiked yep. in 12 and 13 and now it's come back to around equilibrium with again a small gap uh, appearing between I'm definitely looking to buy and definitely looking to sell. Now the significance of this is mm -hmm. what it's going to do to values of properties. Mm. If there's a shortage of properties, i.e. more people in the market looking to buy versus looking to sell, that will always underpin the value of existing properties. The demand on there. So, okay, so you've got a great product there uh, getting these apartments out and, and, and putting them together so the marketplace can come to that publication and find the apartments. And then you've got the research in behind stacking up saying, uh, you know, and there's some exceptional gaps sitting there, isn't there, which is... Uh, the demand on buying versus the people who are saying we're coming to the market? Yes, absolutely there are. In Auckland, um, this gap between the buy and sell um, is 29,100 houses, which is roughly in accord with other figures being bandied about a 30-odd thousand about 30, houses 000. short in Auckland. So yeah. there it is right yep. there. It's almost down yep. to the, the last hundred. Wow. So, okay, so the research is spot on. Yes. You, you'd almost only have to show that to a homeowner today to say, is it a good time to come into the market? And the, and the answer would be 100%, definitely. Even though there's a bit of flux in the market today, that gap is still substantial. Well, it's the old economics, Wayne. It's economics 101. It doesn't matter what you're selling. Um, if you're selling gold, milk powder, petroleum, if the demand exceeds the supply, yep. then it's yep. going to underpin the current values. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, the basis for this research, uh, Pat, where, where's this come from and what else have you got in there? We have Horizon Research conduct these every uh, six months for us. Gotcha. Um, further sign of credibility of these findings is that um, it's quite well known in New Zealand that there's a 60-40 split between um, homeowners and yep. non-homeowners. Yep. So uh, again, our research shows it almost down to the 0.1 of a percent. There's 51% um, of people I own a home in New Zealand, another 7% own residential rental property in New yep. Zealand, 
and uh, there's another 3% that I'm the beneficiary of a trust that owns a home. So there's the 60%. Um, Fantastic. Uh, thank you for that, Pat. Uh, it's great seeing the feature. It's great seeing the research. It's great seeing that uh, your thumbnail calculation matches the data. It all makes sense as we come through. Uh, Pat, again, as always, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here, Wayne. Thank you.